My name is Davina Witherspoon. This is for University Class 1301 on the Kwok Family Documentary. This flag belongs to the Gumchanda, which is the Communist Party of uh, China. This is Mao Zedong, who was a uh, chairman of the Communists. Mao Zedong fought in the Civil War from 1927 to 1949. He was known for his devotion in sharing hardship with his people. This flag belongs to the Kuomintang, which is the Nationalist Party. Sun Yat-sen is the founder of Nationalist. His goal was to unify China. But because Chiang Kai-shek has control over the majority of the military forces, he eventually took control of the Nationalist. After he took control, he assumes Sun Yat-sen's plan at first, but then he uh, initiated the war against the communists. By the 10th year of the Civil War, the war had to be put on hold in order to fight their common enemy, Japan. Japan invasion of China lasted eight years from 1937 to 1945. The invasion of China by the Japanese was also known as the Rape of Nanjing. Japanese terrorized the civilians throughout Nanjing, brutally killing by decapitating their head, pulling their intestines out while they were still alive, and buried thousands of the people alive. They would dispose of the bodies as if they were garbage. They used the Chinese people as medical and poison gas experiments. While in Nanjing, the Japanese soldiers raped over 20,000 women and young girls. One must remember that of the thousands injured, only a small percentage got to the hospital. Continued to airstrike Nanjing to ensure that no one would be alive. This picture shows the aftermath of Nanjing Massacre. By 1945, Japan lost World War II to the U.S. and surrenders to China. The civil war between the nationalists and the communists resumes in 1945. That's when my grandfather joined the military when he was 18 years old. second half of the Civil War lasted for about four years. By 1949, Mao Zedong defeated the Nationalists. After the war, my grandfather was stationed in Hunan province, and that's where he met my grandmother in 1950. They married soon after and conceived four children. My father was the firstborn child. After my grandfather got orders to go to Nanjing, my grandmother went back to uh, his hometown, which is uh, Fuzhou in Fujian province. After serving 10 years in the military, my grandfather decided to leave the military and went back Fujian to be with his family. After getting back to Fuzhou, Fujian, it was not easy to find a job, so my grandfather on my mother's side, he helped out with uh, my grandfather on my father's side by providing food for the family. This is my mom and my brother when we were in China. Being in Fujian for five years, my grandfather got papers to migrate to Hong Kong. Along with my father, leaving me, my brother and sister, and my mom back in China. Along with the rest of the family. This is me and my sister. We were just really young when my dad left to go to Hong Kong. In this picture, my aunt to the far left and my grandmother to the far right with my mom in the middle and the three of us on the bottom. Hong Kong at that point, during the 1960s, was ruled by the British. When they first got to Hong Kong, my grandfather and my father struggled to find employment. 
uh, after a few years, my grandfather was able to find a job as a captain on an oil ship. And my father found a job in a restaurant as a chef. He's 65 after being in Hong Kong for five years. And with the passing of the 1965 Immigration and Nationality Act, my grandfather was able to migrate to the United States. After reaching New York, he was able to find a job as a chef in a restaurant in New York City. He worked day and night for 18 years. After 18 years, he was able to save enough money and migrated from New York City to New Jersey. And there he built his first restaurant in Newton, New Jersey, Chumbo. Chumbo opened up in 1983 and the rest of our family migrated from Hong Kong to United States. After arriving in the United States, about 99% of my family opened up restaurant businesses. We all tried to keep in touch and have a family reunion at least once a year because that is our culture and we're going to try to stick to it. How I end up in El Paso is because I met my husband who is in active duty in the army.